Hello Bucks fans, this is Josh Capo from Pewter Report and I've got another All-22 breakdown for you today. Today's topic is going to be hidden yardage, specifically coming from the Bucks quarterback position. We'll take a look at this first play and then I'll kind of dive into more of what I'm talking about. Um, look at Ryan Miller right now. Uh, let me break right there. Okay, he's wide open. Now I am not a fan of people posting screenshots saying, look, this guy's wide open. Why didn't the quarterback throw to him? A lot of times that guy's not a part of the route progression. But let's back it up. Let's look at this particular play because here, that's not the case. Ryan Miller is 100% part of this route progression. And, uh, and like I said, hidden yardage is today's topic. Let's start with play one. This is the very first throw that Baker Mayfield uh, makes in the Bucks week 10 loss to the San Francisco 49ers that sent them to four and six headed into their week 11 bye week. Um, this particular third down play, it's a staple of the Bucks offense. I would have detailed it in a previous all 22 video on the Pewter Report YouTube channel. Um, what the Bucks like to do on third and medium is go to a three by one look, three receivers on one side, one receiver on the other bunch the three receivers and basically what they want to do is get two of those receivers to run deeper breaking um, routes a lot of times verticals some type of vertical and then underneath it they're gonna have one receiver run a choice route underneath choice just meaning he has the choice to do a lot of different things depending on how the coverage of the defense plays out so let's put this on play here a little bit so Sterling Shepard is going to be the receiver running the choice route. Now, if this corner follows Miller, he sees he would see that he has outside leverage on this defender. He would just break outside, right? Um, if this defender follows this vertical up the seam, he would know I've got inside leverage on this particular um, defender. He's going to break inside. If he sees both guys kind of maintain their gaps, he does exactly what he does here, and he sits. Now, the 49ers are the very first team that the Bucks have kind of run this concept against that I have seen that just plays the choice really well. You can see one, two, three defenders sitting on Shepard. There is no way May Baker Mayfield can make this throw. So what's next in the read progression? Well, it should be the other two options coming from that, bet, uh, that bunch including Ryan Miller, wide ass open, okay? This is an easy first down. And with this defender's back to Miller, it's not just a first down. It's a first down with huge yards after catch potential. Baker passes it up, and I, I really couldn't tell you why. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, the net result of the play is a positive. He passes it up, comes to the back side, and finds K. Dotton on a dig, and they get the first down. So the, the result is still a positive, but the hidden yardage there was the opportunity for the yards after catch with Ryan Miller. Not to mention, there wasn't a guarantee that when Baker passes up the easy open option, that Otten was going to be open on the back side on that dig. So just a curious decision there. And real quick, I just want to say, I understand Kate Otten had a, a bad um, drop. I understand that Rock Jarrett dropped a, a beautiful throw from, from Baker towards the end of the first half. This isn't one of those, like, Baker is the only problem, and especially with the issues on defense, he was nowhere near the biggest problem uh, on Sunday. That is not what this is about. This is just going through some plays and really highlighting some of this missed yardage. Now, with the absence of Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, one of the difficult things for this offense to do right now, working with receivers three through seven, and Kate Otten, who's a good tight end, but not necessarily an explosive tight end, is finding explosive plays, shot plays down the field. So when Liam Cohen, offensive coordinator for the Bucks, draws one up, it's really important that if it's there, his quarterback has got to take that shot. And this is going to be the first uh, of three plays that you're going to see where Baker's either a little late to making a decision or just passes up the opportunity altogether. 
and really kind of hamstrings the offense and forces them to be one that's methodical down the field four, five, six, seven yards at a time instead of getting chunk plays. So let me set this one up for you. Real interesting look from the Bucks here. You've got um, 12 personnel, so that's two tight ends, one running back. All three of them are set up on the left side of the line in an empty set. Um, and what's going to happen is once the ball is snapped, Payne Durham here, he's going to run a vertical up the seam. Kate Otten's going to run a deep fade. Bucky Irving's just basically going to sit. His job is to be there if the play doesn't develop the way that the Bucks want it to. Um, but really, this is designed for Kate Otten. The goal is to manipulate this corner into wanting to stay on that flat and getting Otten open back here. Okay, And you're going to see it actually develops really well, in part because Baker Mayfield does a good job of selling it. Gets to the top of his drop. He's looking downfield right there. You can see the corner, he's not sure what to do, hops down a little bit because he still wants to be involved in that flat. There. Kate Otten is now officially open. The safety has turned has opened up to the middle of the field. He's turned his back to where Otten's going to be. This is your shot. Take it. This is take it. Doesn't take it. Goes with the safe route to Bucky. This is still considered a successful play. They get five yards on it. Could have been a shot. Could have been an explosive. Heck, if he leads Otten perfectly, that could have been a touchdown. It's just not there. All right? He, he just passes it up. So now we're going to uh, move on to some ina inaccuracies. Again, I do understand that some of the receivers had a couple of drops, not absolving them. But you got to have your $33 million quarterback on a wide open bench route, not throw behind the tight end. Like, that's that's basic stuff at this level, right? Next one. This is another shot play. Bucks get what they want. Baker's just a beat and a half late on the throw. So here I'm going to freeze it. Uh, it's going to be play action. Trey Palmer's going to run a deep over, okay? Baker gets the top of his drop right there. Now, with all this space, he can throw early. He can manipulate the safety's positioning. He can put the ball in a place that Palmer can go get it, especially with Palmer's speed. He waits. There's a beat. Palmer's into his break now. The ball should be released. It's not. A couple more shuffle steps, and the edge, I think it was Leonard Floyd, disrupts the pass. Um, I, this one, I think I give you the end zone angle here. Yeah. So let's look at it. Motion, fake the handoff, top of the drop, really good protection. It's a great pocket. Okay, throw it. Throw it. Too, too late to throw it. Ball's disrupted. It's unfortunate. All right, here he's going to turn down another easy throw. All right, concept side is this side. This is the... The field side, if you will, this is where you got three of your receiving options. Rock Jarrett is singled up on the backside. Brings a guy in motion. Looks to the field, okay? He should see, well, there's all this congestion. I know my tight end's releasing to the flat. That's an easy pickup. Easy. Turns it down, looks back. Scramble drill, incomplete. Like, let's go back. This is just easy stuff, right? Looks there. Otten's open. Get him the ball. Nope. Scramble, incomplete. Okay. The next one is the last explosive. <coughs> Excuse me. Last explosive that they had an opportunity for. Um, this was the out and up to Ryan Miller. So he's going to run an out and then up. All right. And I'm not going to sit here and say that Baker had the cleanest pocket in the world. But there, top of the drop, one step up. He should be throwing right now. Okay. This is opening right now. This guy's pinching on the out. Miller is already starting to turn up field. This should be a throw. You're going to get hit. You stand and deliver that throw. Instead, Baker does, admittedly, really cool spin move, 
but that really cool spin move throws off all of his mechanics and shorts the throw. Miller was wide open if that leads him. It doesn't. It's underneath. Miller actually has to play defense on that. Like, I'm going to give you the end zone angle again because I think it's important on this particular play to show, yes, the pressure was coming, although Cody Malk handles his guy. I'm sorry, is that Barton? No, Malk handles his guys right there. Make this throw. Step into this throw. Nope. Missed the touchdown. All right. Um, last one. This just kind of goes to, again, the, the general inaccuracies. Uh, Sterling Shepard's just going to run a speed cut. Look at all that separation. That ball's got to be catchable, and it wasn't. So, um, so again, hidden yardage, uh, just inaccurate on open throws um, and then really turning down opportunities for big gains. And that's the story of how the Bucks offense wasn't as good as it could have been. And a lot of it does rest on the sh quarterback shoulders. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching another all 22 breakdown on the pewter report TV, YouTube channel. For more bucks, for more great bucks video content, please make sure you visit Pewter Report TV on YouTube and hit the subscribe button. I'm Josh Capo. See ya.